Right guys, welcome back to the channel. Touching down from Pai, Northern Thailand. And I thought I'd get out and explore this little town. This little quainty town. And yeah, we're in the, we're in the town centre where the um, night market's going to be. Walking Street. I've parked Black, um, Black Beauty. I said Black Beauty again. Parked Lucille back there. So I don't want to get lost and don't know where she is. So I'm just going to have a quick walk down here. Then we will walk back and go down where I've parked because that's where the walking street is, apparently. First impressions. I, I quite like it. It's, it's a cool little town. If, if the tourist wasn't here, this would be like the ideal spot for me. Perfect site. Got all the shops. You can buy, buy your clothing here and your sunglasses. It would be would be spot on it's beautiful the scenery got some nice restaurants as well i like how it's decorated as well it's a it's a cool little town but it has got that hippie feel straight away scenes i've got here but the the views around it is just breathtaking the only thing is i've i'm seeing more white people <laughs> than ties but it's a cool place we're going to walk down here I'm going to come back as well tonight and check out Walking Street. Got some cool restaurants here that I'm going to check out later as well. I mean, it's probably bigger than what I was expecting. I know it's only a small town, but yeah, it looks, looks big enough to live here. It's got everything here, everything you would ever need. Chiang Mai there is a lot of Farangs but because it's bigger they're filtered out a bit more here because it's so small you just there's just Farangs everywhere man so yeah I might buy something while I'm here I forgot my flip flops so I'm looking for a pair of flippies there's some there just have a look a minute 99 baht 99 baht can I get away with shoes for three days it's a nice bar over there nice place I'll never wear shoes never and I didn't bring my flip flops I thought I'd be out on a motorbike all the time I'll be heading to places don't bring them it's more weight in the bag but yeah I'm going to need them for sure so I'm gonna have to buy a pair somewhere. So it's like they got all the same stuff as in Chiang Mai really. It's all the same stuff. So yeah, God knows what's up that area. And God knows what's down there. So what I'm gonna do is go down and walk left down near the walking street area. Because like I said, I don't wanna get lost even though it's the smallest town the smallest town in the world isn't it but yeah I'll, i don't want to lose the bike on the first day this place looks like a good joint to eat doesn't it could check that out later loads of coffee shops absolutely loads see they've got everything you need here it is just like a miniature... I don't know, it's not a miniature Chiang Mai. This sounds stupid, but it reminds me of like a holiday destination in Benidorm or something. I feel like I'm on holiday. I mean, I am on holiday, you know. <laughs> it's just good to get out of Chiang Mai because you know Chiang Mai so well as well. I know every street, every corner. It's nice to be somewhere where you don't know. Everything's fresh again and yeah, feeling alive. That's what I needed. That's why I came here. I need that alive feeling again. So yeah, we're going to walk down and hopefully Lucille's still there. So I'm guessing this is the centre. I'm not going to do too many I'm not going to go to every part of the town. I want to go out and see 
see the things that are here you know the main the main things people come to see here i'm not just gonna i'll probably miss a bit of the town is this the one here this is the one that i parked there at see i like all this and i like just how small the street is and you got enough restaurants and cafes for a lifetime best pizza and pie that could be a winner later on 50 bat pad thai pineapple and chicken that could be a good one later on pizza guardian i could do with a pizza right let's walk down massages what are they here 200 baht an hour i think it's a bit cheaper than chiang mai I wouldn't say it's super busy here. I was expecting gridlock, absolute gridlock, but it's busy, but for the size of the size of the town, I wouldn't say it's rammed. I mean, I've never been here before. Somebody tell me it's busy or not. I know a few people was telling me that it's really busy here now. I suppose compared to what it has been, it is, you know. Hey, we've got a computer shop. Get your printing done. So this is the way I'm staying down here. I've picked the best area, I think. Because the way I go out, just five minutes down here, out of the town, up into the mountain area. Perfect location. So I'm going to walk down to this bridge here. Then we're going to walk back. And I'll probably come out again tonight, like I said, and check it out just to see what the um, what the night market's doing and have a look around, get some food. Oh, you got your motorbike shop? Hopefully Lucille don't go wrong. That's what I was thinking about on the way. What about if I get a puncture? There's loads of places on the way though where you can get stuff fixed. Dragonfly motorbike rent. It's always a good sign to see what they got. Don't look like they got any bikes. That's a sure sign. That's busy. Woo. <laughs> ah, yeah. It's hot. The landlady was saying it's hot during the day, but when it comes to 5 pm, you will see a massive drop off. So I'm hoping that's correct. If it's really chilled in, you know. Not, not cold, but just a nice temperature during the night. That would be a big plus, because that that is something I would like, where it's a lot cooler overnight, especially in the summer months. Because we are up in the mountains, right? BB Spice signpost Chiang Mai, <laughs> 133 kilometers. White Buddha 1.6 going there tomorrow and that's not far from where I'm staying. So that is probably the first point of core tomorrow. And the Pagoda, I don't think I'm gonna go to the Hot Springs. But yeah, the White Buddha is a definite tomorrow. 1.6 kilometers and from where I am, I can see it right up here in the mountains. So that's gonna be an easy one. Hey, hi Jim. Hey, hi son. Yes. Got a gym man. Ah, oh, we need a gym big time. I'd say this gets rammed later. What's it go up to? 25, same as my gym. That's a nice little place though, isn't it? Yeah, so cool, cool small gym there. I asked her for some prices. 100 baht a session or 1,500 a month. So if you was living here, so I think I've just come across a swimming pool here. Man, I've done an amazing interview with the boss, but there's music playing, banging tunes. I won't be able to use that, will I? Got it. She was well up for being on the camera. I might put it, I might put her on talking a bit without a, without a sound, just so you can see her and see the place. So 
So this is a swimming pool and you can do bungalows as well. 1,000 a night for the bungalows. It's called Revolution. There's a small pool there with, you know, loads of your, look at me, Frank, sitting around it, been in the gym. But the lady, lovely, and a lovely, lovely swimming pool. Well, small swimming pool, but a nice area. What I did see is people going down the river in, in rubber tubes. Beautiful views. See, I live just up here. Live, well, one night. <laughs> I want to stay there now. I'm moving back down here tomorrow and I don't really want to. Yes, yeah, there's loads of people going down the river. Loads of them. Got a campsite there. Campsite. Hello, how Hello. are you? <laughs> campsite. Doing the campsite next time. Saving the dollar man. <laughs> right, so we're down on the bridge. I just wanted to look at this campsite a minute. So it seems like this bottom area of town is the bit that I'm feeling. The bit where I'm staying. I mean, I'm still going to change rooms because I want to get a perspective of all of it. Yeah, campsite look. Um, tomorrow, I'm going to get out and see some things. I'm not really going to do the town so much. I'm going to do tonight. I'm going to come down and eat and have a look at the walking street because we're going to have to do that, ain't we? Got to look at a walking street one time. And then tomorrow and the next day, we're going to get out and see some things around Pipe. I know there's not a hell of a lot to see, but the things that are going on, like the Big Buddha, we're going to go and see. Check it out. You know, when I was 20 years old, this place oh, it would have been the bomb would have been the dog's bollocks it's got everything you need though I will give it that there is everything you need here in abundance right gonna go and get Lucille I'm really loving it though I'm loving it I've never been here before have I so I'm not sure I want to go back. Do I carry on? Round Mei Hong Son. <laughs> oh, I don't know. We've got three days yet. Then we'll think about it. Like all this though. I'm not sure if this is up all the time, is it? All the deco. It looks a good good city not sure whether to get some water or not but I know they've got it back at my place for it's only 10 baht a bottle so I think I'll be all right yep so I'm gonna come back tonight check out walking street and check out I forget the name of this restaurant but we'll do that later on where it's a famous restaurant here Lek or something <laughs> And I'm going to go there and eat, check it out. So I'll put that in with this vlog. We'll do a daytime and probably a nighttime. So yeah, I'll catch you in a bit, guys. Right then, it is about, what is it, 5, 5.30 p.m. And we're going to go and eat at the famous Charlie and Leck. If I got the name right. And then we're going to walk down to Walking Street. So this is it. This is a restaurant I've been recommended time and time again. And yeah, it's quite busy in there. So we're gonna check it out, man. Let's just see what they got. I think it's vegetarian, isn't it? Vegetarian, I don't know. Ah, good prices, 60 baht, 75 baht. 75, 85s. Yep, lovely. We're going to eat here. We are Charlie and Mac. Can 
you believe in. So as the day's gone on, the pie's really grown on me. I'm starting to really know the layout of the town. I know how to get in and get back to my place already. Northern style noodles. Spring rolls, vegetables. I might get some spring rolls. But I had them the other night. 75 eggs. Stir fried noodles, egg sesame. But it's all looking good. All them fresh spring rolls there. I might get them fresh ones instead. They're not so oily. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. So this is what I got guys fresh spring rolls 60 back um, I'm not sure if it'll be enough actually so I might get some sticky rice as well but it looks nice doesn't it, it looks really nice that was Charlie and Lek I don't know which one was Charlie and which one was Lek, but the food was good. I recommend it. It could have been a little bit more, but it was good food. I needed the rice to go with it for sure. But 80 baht for spring rolls, rice, and a drink. It's really dark in pie, not much light, so it's going to be a bit dodgy with a camera. I think I'm going to leave Lucille here because I know where. Uh, Charlie and Leg is and then I'll come back for her after right so we're gonna go down to walking street and take a look and it is so cool now it is a lot cooler than Chiang Mai in the evening it's got some bars I think they got the football on World Cups on I forgot to mention that England I've got all the matches on free to air Thai TV so that was lovely I'm probably going to catch up with some games while I'm here as well tonight and I should be back home by the time England play again so it's, it's pretty dead it is only a weekday night so I'm not sure what walking street is going to look like but we're going to do it. Right, so I'm taking that's, that's walking street over there, is it? Yeah, I'm guessing it is. This walking street. Yeah, gotta be. Right, so the map says down here and it looks like it is this is the street i walked down earlier hey nice and chilled isn't it we'll have a look see what's going on here loads of cheap clove shop in pai loads of second hand shops shoes Look, 30 baht there, 30 baht. So I just wanted to see if they had much different than Chiang Mai. So as we walk on down, we'll see if there's the same sort of stuff or a lot of different. So far, it's just food. got the scarves on the go my mother would love them I'll be taking home a few of them when I go home right so it looks like it gets a bit more a bit more stuff down here I love pie Mei Hon Song 
That's 762 tons. That'll be a good one. Good sticker. Oh, strawberries. Oh, I love a good strawberry. Right. Right, this is the actual walking street. I knew it was down this way. So I think now this is the actual walking street. So let's check it out, man. I'm not in Chiang Mai. I would move it just for the evening. It's going to be interesting to see if I'm going to need the fan on tonight. I mean, I will let you know in the morning when I wake up if I was cold or if I needed the fan on full blast. I think I'll need it on, but it's going to be just number one, I think. Ah, they got them little pasties. Curry puffs. <laughs> got restaurants. They love the stickers here. Yeah? I'm going to have to get a sticker. So what I do want to know is how how big Walking Street is. Surely it can't be can't be massive, can it? But for for the size of it, it's a great it's a great market, right? And this is on every night of the week. Swadi cap, sabadi mai. Yeah, I'm just taking it all in actually. Taking it in. Hoping that I'll find something that I'll like. Cool Nirvana hoodie there. So these ears, what I've seen today, you go down the river and <laughs> I looked over the bridge and I seen some guy just spread out. I think I've got it on film so you'll see it. So everybody's watching the footy man, Argentina are playing. Yeah. Even got scooters going through the night market. That's a bit crazy. So how far does this market go down? That's about it, I think, guys. Ah, it keeps going down. There's more. Man, <laughs> this place is growing on me. Right, so that was Walking Street, ah, down near the gym again. This is where I was earlier on, down near the gym. So, I'm not where I want to be. <laughs> Need to go up this way. Yeah, it's, it's a cool place. It's a cool place. Um, I've never seen so much ganja shops anywhere. There's ganja shops everywhere and bars. I think there might be more bars than Chiang Mai. And yeah, the town, it looks really nice, look, when it's lit up. So I had to come out and see the walking street. This guy is still working on his roof. He's doing overtime. Oh, 
right, so I walked right round in a square, not a circle. It's not a big, it's not a big town at all in the centre, I don't think. Very small. It's I thought it was bigger than what it is, but obviously I've not been up, it's not been up further yet, but walking street was was not a bad size. So I'm going down to get loose hill. And I think we're gonna call it a day then guys. Because yeah, I've been on it all day. I've been vlogging the crap out of everything. <laughs> and yeah, I've thoroughly enjoyed it as well. I've loved every minute of it. Got two more days. Right guys, I'm gonna leave it there. Hope you enjoyed the little walk around. It was it was good to see the night market. I'm not gonna do that again tomorrow. I'm just going to go to some other places now tomorrow and I'm looking forward to going to see the Big Buddha and the Bamboo Bridge so we've got loads more coming so I'm going to check out I'm going to go and buy some water because I ain't got nothing back in the room so I'm going to stop off in 7-Eleven get some water and head back to the room really liking Pipe, really enjoying it it wouldn't be a place I would live how it is with the tourists but it's a great little town man so i will see you tomorrow i'm gonna stop waffling hope you're all safe and sound as always and i will see you in the next one so take it easy man take it easy